first of all, can we start by, if you can give us your name, your title and the institution that you represent? Yes, I'm uh, Bruno. I'm one of the 13 uh, members of the Nuon Solar team. Uh, we are a team um, from the Netherlands. Um, we're all students from the Delft Technical University. Uh, and in, in the team, my role in the early stage of the project was I'm one of the uh, aerodynamic designers of the car, uh, together with another um, colleague of mine. I, I made sure the car has as less air resistance as possible. And uh, in my role during the race will be, I'm, I'm one of the drivers. So we are with three drivers and I will be one of them. So you're a student of engineering? Yes, aerospace engineering. Does that mean that your position on the team is temporary? That you'll be leaving when you graduate? Uh, well, our team is, uh, every two years uh, we start a new team. So we started in, in September 2010 and uh, the roles in the team were uh, divided more or less according to, um, to the studies we, we, we study, um, but we are multidisciplinary, so we have a m multiple other tasks beside them that has, uh, have nothing to do with our studies. So once I, uh, I was finished with that, I wasn't disposed of and uh, replaced by someone else, I just took on other jobs. So uh, that's what all members do. And uh, who do you think is going to win? Well, uh, of course, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure we're going to win. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be difficult. It's a it's a t it's a tough race. All competitors are uh, very strong. We have ser serious competitors uh, from uh, especially from Japan, uh, Tokyo University, and and Michigan from the states. Um, and due to the new regulations, every car will be uh, closer together. So. Um, uh, we, we always refer to race day four of the World Solar Challenge 2009 where Michigan and, and our team uh, swapped places uh, between uh, second and third place about nine times on one day and we're, we're confident that those situations will occur much more. This, this race will be extremely fun, it will be uh, super tense, but uh, we're going to come out first. <laughs> what technological edge do you think you guys have got? that's going to get you guys over the line? Well, we're, we're um, an, an old team in, in the, the World Solar Challenge. We've been doing this for uh, over 10 years now. We uh, have experienced uh, about 100 students worked on the project in those 10 years. So we've got a lot of experience on, on the important fields in solar racing, which are uh, managing your income and outcome. And that's what you do by having a good income, which is um, obviously delivered by the solar panel. But the outcome is, is for 70% is determined by um, the air resistance. Sorry. Um, and um, we, in our university, we have uh, faculties from all departments and amongst uh, aerospace engineering. So that's why we could focus so much on the air resistance. And also uh, during the race, uh, strategic decisions and decisions are very important. And we have people uh, specialized on that as well. Not meaning to be disparaging, but you're not exactly a big bloke. Is it important that the drivers are small and lightly built? Small is an advantage because uh, my, my hips aren't super wide, so the, the, and, and the hip is contained in one of the, the wheel spats. So it's, it's combined. We have uh, three wheel spats, two front wheels and one uh, rear wheel, and um, the, the, the buttocks of the driver is, is contained with the, within the third wheel spat. So uh, the larger the driver, the larger the car, and uh, the more air resistance uh, that brings with it. But um, the weight doesn't matter because uh, all competitors are, are um, added to 80 kilograms to make it fair. Well, all the best, and hopefully we'll in a in not too distant future we'll be interviewing you as the winner. Definitely. We'll, uh, we'll, we're looking forward to arrive on a, uh, late 19th of October, early 20. We'll have a beer ready for you. Great. Thanks.